It was about 25 years ago, as best I recall. I was fishing in the surf at Ocean Isle Beach when I noticed a young boy looking into the bucket that contained my catch. A few minutes later, when I walked back to add another fish to the bucket, he was still there staring into that bucket. It had been a real good couple of hours of fishing with quite a variety of fish caught. The young lad pointed to one of the fish and said, Mister, what kind is this one? I identified it for him and had hardly gotten the words spoken when he pointed to another and asked, What is this one? He was fascinated by the different shapes and colors of fish, and I was fascinated by his interest and curiosity. I asked him if he wanted to catch one. He said something like, Gee, can I? I baited the hook, cast it into the water, and then handed him the rod. It was one of those days. He had hardly gotten a grip on the rod when I noticed the action on the tip. He followed my instructions to the very letter and brought the fish onto the shore and eventually into the bucket. After catching one or two more, his parents walked up and mildly reprimanded him for, as they said, disturbing me. I assured them that it was my idea to let him fish, and by no means was he an imposition at all. He took his parents over to the bucket and pointed to one of the fish and properly identified it. He then pointed to another and identified it properly as well. It was at this point that the thought entered my mind, wouldn't it be nice to have a taxidermist prepare one of each of the variety of fish that are normally caught in the surf? They could be put in a display case that would be placed in some location where it would attract attention. It surely would be of interest to those who are not familiar with this coastal area. A few days passed and it was time for my family and me to return to our home in Charlotte, where it was back to business as usual. Over the next several years, however, we would frequently return to our vacation home on Ocean Isle Beach. During that time, the little boy on the beach and the idea of a display case to exhibit the variety of fish would occasionally enter my mind, but never seriously. Upon my retirement, I began to think seriously about trying to put that fish exhibit together. Several approaches ran through my mind, but the more I thought about it, the more it became apparent that I was simply thinking too small. After all, there were many unique gifts of nature in the coastal area, more so than just the variety of fish that could be caught in the surf. What about the myriad of seashells that wash ashore? What about the big game fish that inhabit the deep water? What about the shorebirds and waterfowl? This took the small envisioned exhibit into a new and much larger dimension. But things like this take land, a building, exhibits, staff. Maybe I was thinking too big after all. All that time, the idea laid dormant. Then one evening when we had my mother-in-law over for dinner, she said she had heard that I was thinking about building a museum at Ocean Isle Beach. My only response was that I really would like to, but that seemed to be a real heavy undertaking. A few months later, she returned for a visit and after dinner came over to where I was sitting and placed a check in my hand and said, now, here get that museum started. The check was only a fraction of what it would take to get a museum started, but it was a challenge and inspiration without which the museum might still be only an imagination. 